Hello, you are welcome to another video lecture series of Open and Distance Learning Center, Ladoki Akitola University of Technology. This is Biology 101, Introductory Biology, and this is the first part of the fifth study session titled Kingdom Animalia. At the end of this study session, you must be able to achieve the following. One, you must be able to enumerate the features of organisms that belong to Kingdom Animalia. Also, you must be able to itemize the classifications of organisms that are possible under Kingdom Animalia. What are the general characteristics of organisms under Kingdom Animalia? Organisms under this kingdom are called Metazoa. Metazoa are multicellular animals whose cells are differentiated into tissues and organs and usually with a digestive cavity and nervous system. They are heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are organisms that depend on other organisms directly or indirectly for food. Organisms in this kingdom ingest their food and digest them in the internal cavity. Most of these organisms live in the seas, fewer are seen in fresh waters, and even fewer are seen on land. Organisms of, in this kingdom can move from one place to the other, that is, they are mortal. The sizes of animals ranges from a few celled organisms like the mesozoans to large cells organisms like the blue whale. Most of the animals are bilaterally symmetrical, while primitive animals are asymmetrical, and cnidarians and echinoderms are radially symmetrical. Classifications of organisms under Kingdom Animalia. We have many classifications of organisms under Kingdom Animalia. We have phylum Porifera, we have phylum Cilentrata, we have phylum Platyamintis, we have phylum Ashemintis, we have phylum Anemida, we have phylum Atropoda, we have phylum Mollusca, Phylum Echinodermata, and Phylum Chordata. Let's start with Phylum Porifera. These organisms are also called Poriferans, and one of the most popular organisms under this phylum is called Cycon. This picture illustrates how a Cycon looks like. What are the features of organisms under Phylum Porifera? They are the simplest multicellular animals. Their cells are loosely held together and do not form tissues. They are mostly aquatic in nature. Pores can stick. They have pores which are called ostia. These pores are present all over their body with a single large opening on top called Osculum. Food and oxygen enter these organisms along with water into their canal system. Common examples of these organisms are Cycon, Spongia, and Spongilla. Phylum Cylentrata. These are also called Cylentrates. A popular example is called Jellyfish. And this picture illustrates how a jellyfish looks like. What are the features of organisms under phylum Cylentrata? They are radially symmetrical and diploblastic in nature. They are multicellular animals with a tissue grade of organization. They are aquatic animals that live in fresh water or marine water. Solitary or colonial forms, which may be free swimming or sedentary. 
Their body has a mouth at the oral end, which leads into a spacious cavity called gastrovascular cavity or selection. This gastrovascular cavity or selection is used for excretion. They move with the aid of long and hollow structures called tentacles. These long and hollow structures are also used for food capturing. Features of organisms under phylum Cylentrata. Organisms under phylum Cylentrata has peculiar types of cells called snidoplast, nematocyst or stingy cells in their ectoderm, especially in their tentacles. This is used for defense. Digestion in cylindrics is both intracellular and extracellular. Respiration and excretion is through simple diffusion. Reproduction in cylindrics can be accessual through external body or sexual through the formation of gametes. Many cylindrics exhibit polymorphism, whereby different types of organisms exhibit different forms for different functions. These individuals are called sweeps, phylum, flatty amenities. The most popular organisms in this phylum is known as the flatworms. This picture illustrates how a flatworm looks like. What are the general characteristics of organisms under phylum flatiamintis? They are the simplest triploblastic organisms showing bilateral symmetry. They are mostly parasites living in other animals. Their body is dorsal ventrally flattened and leaf like or ribbon like. Their body cavity has only one opening, which serves as both the mouth and the henus. They are hermaphrodites, that is, male and female sex organs are present in one individual. Common examples of organisms in this phylum are planaria, liver fluke, and tapeworm. Phylum Ash elementis. Organisms, the most popular organisms under this phylum are called the round or thread worm. This picture illustrates how a round or thread worm looks like. What are the features of organisms under phylum Ash elementis? Organisms under phylum Ash elementis are triploblastic organisms whose body are bilaterally symmetrical. They have parasitic or free-living organisms. Their body is long, smooth, and cylindrical. Their halimetric canal begins with the mouth and ends with the henos. Examples of these organisms are Ascaris, which is also known as Randworm, and Theropius, which is also known as Pimworm. This is the end of this, of the first part of this study session. Thanks for listening.